Hello Chula Vista friends! May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and today I will be reading from this book Asian Americans Who Inspire Us by Annalisa Quiroz Wolf and Michael Franco. Whether artists, athletes, or activists, Asian Americans have shaped history and helped make our world what it is today. This book highlights just a handful of the many Asian Americans who inspire us. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading to you about Maya Lin. Maya loved art. So did her parents, who moved from China to the United States, where they were free to make the art that they loved. Maya's father created art through pottery, and her mother created art through poetry. At first, Maya created art through dollhouses, as she grew older, she decided she wanted to create art through architecture. She used art to express what she believed and who she was. Maya went to college to become an architect. She read, she studied, and she began to design new things in her classes. Her designs were one of a kind. A teacher told Maya about a contest to design a memorial for people who had fought and died in the Vietnam War. Maya worked hard on her design. Americans had lost people who they loved in the war, and they wanted a special way to remember them. She knew it was important to get the design just right. She studied the place where it would be built. She studied other monuments. She wanted to honor those who had died for their country. Maya's idea for the monument was different. She didn't want a big marble building or a grand stone statue of a famous person. Maya's drawing for the contest was simple, a long black wall filled with the names of all the people who had died in the war. Every name could fit on Maya's wall. Every person could be remembered. Maya didn't expect to win. After all, she was only a young girl in college, but the judges didn't know that. All they could see was her drawing. It was simple, creative, and powerful. More than 1,000 people entered the contest, but the judges chose Maya. Maya was excited and proud. Other people were not. Some people said her design was ugly. Some people said a girl so young shouldn't win. Some people didn't like that a Chinese American had won the contest. Maya was heartbroken. She thought about changing her design. She thought about giving up. She thought about staying quiet. But she decided to stand up for herself and fight for her design. She went on TV to explain why the wall design was so important. She convinced everyone to keep her design. And today, the wall is still the most visited monument in the United States. Visitors touch the names of their loved ones. They honor and remember those who sacrificed everything. Maya knew art could help people. She used her art to help people heal. She designed other monuments like the Civil Rights Memorial in Alabama to help people heal, remember, and honor others. Maya inspires us to fight for what we believe in, even when it is hard. I hope you enjoyed the story about Maya Lin and I hope that you know what's worth fighting for. Mm -hmm.